Did you see it? Looks as not trans. It's a video that we're gonna be watching from Mr. Jake. Uh, I'm pretty ignorant in these kind of topics, but basically, how do you like like if Felix doesn't himself perceive himself as a woman in a gender role, and he's not trans, he's simply cross-dressing for the fun of it, right? We're back again addressing another misconception about ReZero, which circulates on the Twitter side of social media. Okay. Now, I understand this can be a sensitive topic, so I've made sure to get the opinion from people in the trans community before making this video. <laughs> I love how he did his due diligence. He's like, nope, I'm not getting canceled with this one. I got my allies. I did my research and they are my source. Felix obviously doesn't conform to gender norms. And I can definitely see the similarity between Felix and trans people. Specifically the fact that trans people also do not conform to their assigned gender yeah. roles. It's about like your perception on your gender. Now, I'm not saying that this is the absolute truth or things how it should be. I'm ta I'm telling you, this is the talking points on how people understand these topics. You have chromosomes, XY, XX. You have male and female. These are sexes. However, gender is a social construct, is something that you perceive yourself as. A male is traditionally supposed to be strong dominant independent you know provider for the family right and then there's more female you know traits where it's just more about you know tra trad you know traditional wife of like you know being loyal and submissive and i don't fucking know doing the house chores there's these very like, stringent like rigid stereotypes that's for you know if you're a guy you must be like this if you're a girl you must be like this but some people don't understand not under it's more like some people don't feel right by like, I'm a guy, but I don't feel very masculine. I feel very feminine. Therefore, they can perceive this is like then gender dysphoria. Then they may want to then be trans to say, I am not a dude. I am a trans girl. And then the whole, you know, transition happens. But there is actually some information on the whole is Felix trans issue, mm -hmm. which comes directly from the author that I thought would be good to share. What is this? So cat? normally when this question comes up, people selectively cherry pick quotes from EX1, which <laughs> okay. is a prequel light novel involving Felix and Cruz. We'll be, we'll be covering this topic very soon, don't worry. However, when they do this, they fail to analyze the actual overarching plot of the novel. In short, Cruz is a woman. And yeah. women are looked down upon, especially when they are in positions of power. Oh, and ReZero too, I guess. I didn't realize there was so much misogyny and stuff. I thought that women had, you know, just as many rights as men, but I guess not in ReZero days. This is the reason why when you see Krush at the Royal Selection, or in general, she's wearing clothes which are very masculine. Mm -hmm. Essentially, she is disassociating herself with femininity because it's seen as being weak. Yeah, it's just like, you know, you're, you're, you're adapting to the environment to put on, you know, different things to make you seem like more, I don't know, more masculine, more like male dominant roles. Doesn't mean that Krush identifies as a male, but she's simply borrowing these stereotypical themes to bolster her campaign. Since Krush has thrown away her femininity, Felix then dresses feminine for Krush's sake. Oh, really? That's a side story that we're going to cover one day, but that's cool to know. So this whole cross-dressing thing is not because Felix necessarily wants to do it to look cute. Well, maybe there is a part of that, but a big part of it is for Krush's sake to kind of recover that lost femininity from Krush. So this is the overall reason why Felix dresses feminine, huh. because he is taking up Krush's femininity, which she can't embrace. But who asked her him to do that? I, I'm just, it, that's like a, it, it's a, it's a, it's a, it sounds cool, right? It sounds like they're really close and, you know, Cruz can't, you know, embrace these things. So, you know, Felix is taking a lot of himself, but who asked exactly? Who asked Felix to do this? Like if Cruz, it, it, it would be very, like, it would be more meaningful if, you know, Cruz wanted to embody his femininity, but couldn't. And therefore Felix did it on her behalf for sure. But I, I wonder. And Cruz is being masculine for the sake of Felix. Despite that though, there's more evidence in the series that Felix is a man. This stems not only from the author himself, 
but also from Felix, the character. Okay. So first, I want to address the author's statements. Sure. In a ReZero data book, Felix is stated to be a male. Now, the image is in Japanese, but Ice from Witch Cult Translations has confirmed that Felix is classified as a male. Sure. And this is the source image if you would like to read it. Secondly, Tape has been asked about Felix's gender multiple times in Q&As. First, he states that Felix is a guy as he refers to him as a he rather than a she. Mm. Furthermore, he stated that the reason why he made Felix a guy but wearing girl clothes is because it was something he wanted to try out. Okay. So now we know from the author that Felix is not trans. It's simply a guy. Yeah, it's again, it's just that he, as long as Felix doesn't identify himself as a woman, he is not trans. He's simply a cat boy wearing cute girly clothes. That is cross-dressing. Now, some people will take this and say, well, we don't need to believe what the author is telling us. <laughs> That's the best. <laughs> that's, that's the best part. Not in just like Read Zero, but other shows where deluded fans have their own headcanon that they think is the author's words and the author doesn't understand their own story and I must correct the author. Because I can interpret it in my own headcanon way. However, there's more information that we need to look at. Okay. However, that is directly contradicted by Felix himself. In Arc 4, Felix literally states that he is man in both mm. mind and body. There so he himself acknowledges that he is a guy. So making the argument that he is trans is incorrect. I would have liked to seen those arguments to pick apart the logic. But again, like literally Felix himself is saying, I'm a dude. I wear girly clothes. I'm very woodable, but I'm a dude. That's a dude. That's not trans. It's a cross-dressing dude. Could be a femboy too. I think that it's also femboy is just like a feminine boy. Feminine, you know, a, a purse masculine. It's, it's like a... A man who is feminine, right? This isn't trans. This is simply just, you know, it's a, it's a little bit more loose with the gender constructs and willing to try on different, you know, stereotypical um, traits, but still a dude. Because Felix literally says that you're wrong. Even illustrations show that he's a guy as it uses the male symbol for him. So yes, if anyone says Felix is trans as a factual statement, it isn't correct and they are. Remember when there was people on Twitter saying Nokotan is trans? I remember that shit going on. That was even more crazy. I'm lying to you. I feel like this comment by Coven Moonshadow on Natalie X Hunter's video about this topic. Dude, this image is so fucking low resolution. I can't see shit. Elaborates on it very well. So here's a short summary of it. I don't have an issue with people who headcanon characters as transgender, but as someone who loves femboys and generally effeminate men, I still think it's incredibly disrespectful to think all men who are feminine or dress in a feminine fashion mm. is transgender. Yeah, for sure. Even Roswell too, right? Roswell is definitely a very effeminate man. He's definitely not like this rigid, like, you know, beard, hairy, masculine dude. No, I think Roswell is pretty feminine himself, but I don't think Roswell is trans by any means. Not every character who appears as the opposite gender is trans. I wish more people would understand that. This, in my opinion, is the most important thing to take away. I understand that trans representation is something that is lacking in the anime community. Yeah, and some people may want to, you know, self-insert their own headcanon and say that, oh, this is trans representations to, you know, make their marginalized fe a group feel better about themselves. But, like, I get that, but at the same time, it kind of, like, does you disservice and will take people, like, take you less seriously if you're saying all this kind of bullshit without really understanding what even this means. However, retroactively going back and identifying characters who cross-dress and then labeling them as trans is incredibly disrespectful to trans people. People have cross-dressed for years. This doesn't make them trans. You see this issue in Steins Gate also when oh, people yeah? assume that since Luca is feminine. Yeah, it looks like a trap to me. One, one of these days we'll watch Steins Gate. He is actually trans when that isn't the case at all if you've read the material. Either way, hopefully this has been a bit informative on the topic. That's pretty much it. And listen, if you have your different opinions about trans people, whatever, I, I don't care. The point of this video is to tell you the logic involved into categorizing what is trans, what is not trans. At the end of the day, it's a gender identity thing. Do you identify as a woman 
despite having male chromosomes? If yes, you are trans. If no, you're someone that is just effeminate and likes to wear, you know, other gender clothing and, you know, different behaviors and habits like that. And maybe there is, I, I think some people actually think that, it, it, I, I think that it is definitely a spectrum, right? Maybe someone like Felix in the real world is just simply taking up cross-dressing and, you know, all these things as a hobby. But uh, a lot of different trans people may feel that this is like a uh, footstep like the beginning phases of slowly transitioning as you begin to kind of explore the other gender and try to figure out, maybe I do like this. Maybe this is more than just a hobby of, you know, dressing up nice like, like a girl. Maybe there's something beyond that. And for sure, when, when, when it gets there, then we can have that conversation. But right now, I, I don't think Felix is trans. But, uh, <laughs> man, we're getting really desperate with the farm. So if we're covering fucking read zero characters, are they trans? But hey, please go give Jake a like on the video. There's his channel. I'll see you next time.